Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing an update video on this video card mining we built over two months ago. So as you know, the cryptocurrency market is absolutely surging right now. And we use the funds to purchase four new RTX 3070 video cards. The first one here is a tough edition by Asus. As well by Asus, we purchased the Strix edition right here. The next one is a Master Edition by Gigabyte. And then finally we purchase the Supreme X Edition by MSI right here. So with these four RTX 3070 video cards combined, that's gonna bring the total hash rate when mining Ethereum up to 242 mega hash per second. In other words, as of May 2021, that's roughly the equivalent to 800 US dollars per month of gross revenue. That's taking into consideration the current difficulty of Ethereum, which is 7.93 petahash, as well as the price of Ethereum, which is 3,600 US dollars. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. Alright, so now the next step is to install this new hardware onto this high quality rack we purchased. So about midway through wiring the rig, we realized that the power supply did not come with enough stock PCI cables to provide power to each of the video cards. Therefore we had to be creative and even go as far as performing live surgery on some extra components we had lying around such as PCI power extension cables to allow them to plug directly into the riser module as you can see there.
Alright, so after spending a couple of hours configuring the rig, as well as downloading drivers and software, we finally have it operational now mining Ethereum directly using Phoenix Miner. So as you can see, we arranged the cards on the rack to have our most favorite looking on the far left. Starting off as a Supreme X Edition by MSI, it has such an amazing aluminum finish right there. The next one is a Strix Edition by ASUS. Following that is a Master Edition by Gigabyte. And then finally we have the Tough Edition by ASUS. So here we have Phoenix Miner running with MSI Afterburner in the background putting plus 1100 memory clock on each of the video cards. As a result you can see the cumulative hash rate is brought up to 242 mega hash per second when mining Ethereum. Furthermore we also used MSI Afterburner to bring the power limit down to 80%. And as you can see down below here the power meter, the rig is drawing around 900 watts of electricity. Based on BC Hydro rates, that's $1.75 US per day of electricity consumption costs. Again if you look at the Ethereum profits, right now it's making well over 15 fold the electricity cost. So this rig is definitely doing an amazing job right now. So while we were downloading the drivers for the video cards, we noticed that the RTX 3070 Master Edition by Gigabyte had a pretty nifty perk on it. As you can see they're on RGB Fusion 2.0. We made a label for VTech which represents my YouTube channel name. And as you can see down below after configuring it, we have it now shown on the video card itself on the screen right there. So right here is sophisticated thermal imaging showing where the core heat is being generated on the rig. There is no question that each of those RTX 3070s drawing around 210 watts on average is producing a significant amount of heat. As mentioned, under standard thermal throttling the rig is drawing around 900 watts from the wall and virtually all of that energy is converted into waste heat. That's roughly the equivalent to a standard heater of about 5000 BTUs. During the winter it's going to be nice to close the window and keep this room nice and cozy warm. The heat is going to rise and warm up the rest of the house as well. So as you probably know, finding a lot of bugs in the basement of a house is a pretty common thing, especially during the summertime. So what we did in order to protect the rig was we installed a bug zapper right here. And it has an integrated UV light inside which attracts bugs. Once they get inside they get zapped by the metal wiring, then they fall onto a tray down below. It was 100 US dollars to purchase, but we definitely think it's going to be worth it as long as it can save at least one of the video cards. Anyway guys, I appreciate it if you made it this far into the video. As you can see in the background, we are continuing to tune the rig even more with MSI Afterburner to get the most out of each video card. In particular, we noticed that the RTX 3070 Top Edition by ASUS has the best overclocking potential for the memory out of all the video cards. So we're definitely going to be working on that one a lot to get the most out of it. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for anything you guys are unsure about. If not, I definitely do welcome any comments to make this rig better. But regardless, I wish you all the best luck in your future mining builds. Goodbye now.